Hi breathers, welcome to How to Breathe for COVID-19, part three, recovery. I'm Danny May, and this is a three-part series by Breath Guidance. If you haven't already watched part one for prevention of COVID-19 and part two for treatment of COVID-19, make sure you watch those videos now. All right, so we're gonna do two different breathing techniques today that are gonna really aid in your recovery from this novel coronavirus. The first technique is known as a samavritti with lateral leans on the retentions and suspensions. What that means is you might know samavritti more familiarized as box breathing or square breathing, but what we're also gonna do is add lateral leans on those retentions and suspensions. So just to summarize what a box breath or a samavritti is, is you have four parts of your breathing pattern. You have your inhalation, where you're bringing the air in. You have your retention, which is where you're retaining the breath inside of the lungs. You have your exhalation, which is when you're breathing the air out, and you have your suspension, which is when you're suspending the breath outside of the body, meaning holding your breath out. Now, a box breath or a samavritti is where all four parts of those are equal in time. Um, so their duration of maybe four seconds or the duration of maybe 10 seconds. But the idea with this particular technique and the way that you're gonna structure it is that you have to make sure that you're really comfortable with the number you choose. So let's say for instance, you can breathe in really easily for six seconds. You can hold your breath in really easily for six seconds. It's kind of tricky to get your exhale to get out for six seconds, and it's really difficult for you to hold your breath out for six seconds. Then you want to find what the most difficult part of the breath was for you and figure out the number that works easily there. So that might actually be you can hold your breath out easily for four seconds. Then you'll be inhaling for four, retaining for four, exhaling for four, and suspending for four. I hope that makes sense because what we're trying to do, especially in this recovery after COVID-19, is get your body back into the ease of respiration, but also add a little bit of CO2 tolerance um, increasing. So we're gonna be working with that on the retentions and the suspensions, but adding the lateral leans are gonna start to allow the lungs and the respiratory muscles to become a little bit more elastic, have a little bit more stretch and mobility so that it becomes easier for you to respire. Okay, with all that said, let's do this one together. We'll start with a really easy count of three seconds. Remember, if you can do a longer count, like five or six or eight seconds, and you can easily do that on all four parts of the breath, then that's the number that you're gonna do. But let's do three for now. When you're ready, reset the breath, use your lips, blow all the breath out of your lungs. <sighs> Inhale, three, two, one, lean to your right, hold the breath in, three, two, one, come back to center, exhale for three, two, one, hold the breath out, lean over to the right, three, two, one, inhale, hold it in, lean to the left, exhale, Hold it out, lean to the left. Beautiful, start to breathe. So you can see that in the retentions, in the suspensions, we're laterally leaning. For those of you who found a lot of tightness, a lot of stickiness, you're gonna keep your hands um, by your sides as you do those lateral leans. If you start to progress and you feel that you're getting better in your recovery or maybe you didn't have such a severe case, you can start to lean with the arm up and over the head and that's gonna stretch this side of your body, your lungs, your respiratory muscles a little more. So know that this is, again, a little bit more of a figuring out what's gonna be best for you as far as the duration of the Samavriti and the intensity of the length in the lateral leans that you're incorporating into those. All right, so the second technique is going to be a two-part breath. Your exhalations are gonna be what's known as ventilations. So the two-part breath means that you're inhaling using breathing mechanics, their respiratory muscles, and to do two different parts of isolation. So you'll be breathing into your front belly, and then you're gonna be breathing into your back in between your shoulder blades, and then you're gonna take your tongue towards your front two teeth and you're gonna stream the air on the top or the roof of the mouth. And this is called a ventilation. It sounds a little something like. Sss. 
Now, when you do your ventilations, you want them to be very soft and smooth and subtle. So rather than something like a where you can see I'm using a lot of um, facial muscles, I'm having a lot of pressure, a lot of speed that's coming out. You want something that's a lot more relaxed and gentle, like a for your exhale ventilations. So let's do this one together. When you're ready, blow all the breath out. Take a nice big long deep breath in. Just let out a heavy sigh. Hmm. Now, breathe into your belly, put your hand over your stomach. Pause your breath, breathe in between your shoulder blades. You might even lean forward a little bit. Awesome, now take the tongue towards the front two top teeth. Try to stream the breath along the roof of the mouth. Use your nose, breathe into your belly. Breathe in again to your back. Ventilate the breath out. trying to ventilate for as long as you can comfortably and then you'll just continue the technique. I hope that these two different breathing exercises will serve you really well in your recovery. I hope that after you feel that these breathing techniques have really served you, you might even pop back into the first video part one of this series, prevention, because those are also gonna be really beneficial in your recovery as well. Again, my name is Sandy May. If you have any questions about these techniques whatsoever, please pop them in the comments below. Make sure to check out our virtual membership and our breath technique training that we offer through breathguidance.com. Those are two amazing different um, suites of memberships to where you have a lot of different breathing classes from all different types of teachers or a really cool training where you learn over 60 breathing techniques in six weeks. So again, make sure that you're checking those out if you're interested in how to use your breath to optimize your life, your wellness, and your performance. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.